back to what's new. Have you heard of the dark sky movement? When I first heard that term, I thought, well, that doesn't sound very good. But it's actually, it is a good thing. It's the, uh, it's the effort to reduce light pollution, mm -hmm. which benefits wildlife and, of course, cuts down on energy usage. Right, so think about even something as simple as a porch light or your mm -hmm. post lights that line your driveway. They have a lot of ambient light that goes around. Well, dark sky means all the light is focused downward. Nothing is focused around or up. And that helps to make the stars more visible at night. One of the best places to go to see them is a dark sky park and whole area that has dark sky, uh, you know, ambient lighting and whatnot. There's only about 60 of these parks in the United States, and we are so fortunate here in Northeast Ohio to have one in our own backyard. It should be a great night for looking at stars. As the sun sets, foot traffic picks up on the trails of Observatory Park. It's one of the first dark sky parks east of the Mississippi River, and you can see stars and planets that you may not have seen before. It's a place where you're not chased away as soon as the sun goes down, so folks can stay as late as they want to check out what nature and the night sky are doing as late as they need. This is one of the park's night sky viewing events, where visitors get to see things like the sun in a different light. It is covered in storms today and sunspots. Check it on out. A bigger telescope brings a view of planet Venus even closer. It's a sight that can be magical. We pretend telescopes are fancy, but they're all just basically funnels. They've got a big wide end at the front to collect starlight and a narrow end that takes it into your eyeballs. Which makes faraway things that are dim a whole lot brighter and a whole lot clearer. And as dusk fades into night, the real show begins. And tonight we actually got some good weather, so a lot of folks have come out to check out the sky. I'm enjoying watching the sunset and trying to figure out what I'm looking at. I think we're looking at Venus right now, and we're starting to see a few more stars. The largest telescope of the night explored craters on the moon. It's the moon. We'll find it again. It's not going anywhere. Every couple of minutes, the view is adjusted because of the movement of the Earth. We got to see the um, the moon, so I had to climb up the ladder to see the um, craters of the moon. Very detailed. It's super, super detailed. Like, makes me want to, like, learn more about astronomy and nature and, and how things work. And on this night, a hundred visitors took in the celestial experience. Get a big boost from the surrounding community. We're in Montville Township, which keeps it really, really dark at night. A lot of folks turn off their lights or keep their windows shut at night. I mean, Public Square is a mere 32 miles to the west of us, but it's like a whole different world just making that quick trip out to Observatory Park. There are only 111 dark sky parks like this in the world. You get to see the stars and the moon and Venus and the International Space Station twice. So everybody had a really good night interacting with the sky. So we're hoping people walk away kind of inspired to check out the sky and the seasons and what's going on all around them in the universe. Hmm. The International Dark Sky Association distinguishes the quality of that night sky viewing with a gold, silver, or bronze designation. Observatory Park is ranked as a silver. Not bad for an area that's, you no. know, highly populated. Take that, Wallet it. Hub. That's it. <laughs> uh, and for a list of future programming, we have a link on our website, WKYC.com. I mean, you've been out, in, you know, when it's really dark out. Yeah. And you look up and you're just like, oh, my gosh, I never really noticed those stars before. Right. And I know you weren't here when it happened, but we had the Great North American Blackout. Yeah. That was the only other time I can remember people talking about the night sky because it was sure. super hot when the blackout happened. It was clear and everybody was outside. And there was no street lights. There was nothing. Everything probably popped. And it, like, people were like, oh, my gosh, yeah. I never even knew. We yeah. could see the Milky Way. I mean, it was just so incredible. Uh, so it was kind of fun to, to kind of revisit the whole night sky topic yeah. here in Northeast Ohio. Spend a night at any campgrounds, you know, oh. that's isolated out, out in the wilderness. Yeah. And you really get an appreciation for the sky. You know this. I'm a huge night sky enthusiast. I have an app on my phone that shows me every second of every day where the space station is. Mm -hmm. And my wife thinks I'm a child.
but anytime it's flying over, I'll go outside and I'll look at it and I'll yell for it. Trace, you got to come out and see this. It's beautiful. She's like, I've seen it before. It's a light <laughs> going across the sky. She doesn't share my passion. But there's people on that but light it, going I across know, the it's sky. So, but the other night, and they're it, floating. It, I swear to you, its path was directly over my house. I mean, it was 180 we directly had a overhead. Good viewing, yeah. And you know, I was waving, but they probably couldn't see. They were waving back. Let's, okay. Let's just go with that. Child I am going to go with that. Young Jason. <laughs> yes, they were waving back.